Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this set of six videos, this is the culmination of a three hour kind of mini game jam that I did, just self imposed. So, what was the topic? SpaceX. I'm a huge, huge space fan, and so I wanted to do something with SpaceX or based on SpaceX. So in this first video, it is setting up a rocket, creating that rocket using ProBuilder. Also, this is a video that is uncut, but I have compressed some of the time. So if you're ready to get watching, let's go. Okay, so in this, I want to go ahead and I want to use my reference of SpaceX rocket. And let's go ahead and jump into Unity. And here I have a blank scene with nothing in it. So I want to go ahead and start creating the rocket. So let's go ahead and add a Pro Builder cylinder. And kind of move this over a little bit. And then let's jump into this thing and start modifying it. Okay, so there we have, I think I did a passable rocket. So let's go ahead and just add a material to this. Okay, and I wanna make that skin just look a little bit better. So, I'm going to create a normal map. We'll have this be very, very subtle. Something like that. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm gonna open this into normal map online. Again, this is going to be very subtle, but you can see some of the kind of waviness of the skin, which is what I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and just download that real quick. Pop that in my project. Add that to my sprites. Okay, so I've got my SpaceX skin that I have here and not my sounds, sprites. Back into my materials. So my SpaceX material, and I'm going to add that normal map to that material. And again, it's not perfect. Let's see. But it can help add just a little bit of variety to some of those segments, I think. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I think that's, I think it's called a rocket done. Okay, so I have the base sprite done for this. I wanna go ahead and make this a clicker game. So I want to go ahead and add an empty game object. I'm gonna have this be in my game manager. We'll go ahead and create a new empty inside of that. Uh, have this be our launch clicker. Okay, and then I need to go ahead and add a UI so that I can, you know, click on something to then that's going to then launch the, the rocket. So let's go ahead and add a UI. We'll go ahead and add a button. The button, I think I want to go ahead and just have this be a circle. So let's go ahead and Photoshop. I right, have this 256 by 256 image here. So let's just create a new image. It's 256 by 256. Let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and create a circle and I'm going to make it white because then I can then colorize it later in Unity. I'm 
gonna go ahead and just call this click button and save that, cool. The other thing I wanna do is to maybe have there be some time that goes around, so this little slider. And so I need a, just a circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the inside there and I'm gonna go ahead and create a stroke. So let's go to edit and stroke. And let's have this be 20 pixels. So I wanna do the inside of the selection there. So let's go ahead and click okay. That's exactly what I want. So let's go ahead and save this as well. I'll call this timer. And let's pop back over into Unity. Okay, so my button currently is kind of this rectangular button. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change this sprite. Let's move that normal map in my SpaceX folder. I'm gonna have this be the click button. So I'm gonna change my button sprite out to be this click button. And I need to change the sprite type to be sprite 2D and UI and click apply. And now I can select my button. Let's swap that button out and let's change the size of it to be, let's just go 200 by 200 and see, oops, not position. Change the size of it here to be 200 by 200 and that's too big. Let's go 150 by 150. Yeah, and that's not too bad. So let's just go ahead and move that. Let's back to our canvas here, our button. Something right there I think will work. And this would be better off as a Text Mesh Pro. So let's go ahead and add a Text Mesh Pro UI object. Let's call this Fuel Text. And bold. And we'll just leave it as uh, Liberation Sands for the moment. And let's change our button color. All right, so let's go ahead and add that slider image. So let's go UI image. And this is 150 by 150. So I can make the this just be a little bit bigger. So let's go 170 by 170. And then we're gonna go ahead and use that timer sprite. And let's go ahead and change this to be a Sprite 2D UI. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and just center this on the button. And let's just move it behind the button. Call that fuel button. And that's definitely not centered. Let's kind of move this around a little bit. Okay, that works. And so what is it I wanna do that with this? Well, I want, I want to have it rotate around. So I'm gonna change the image type from simple to filled. And then the fill method is gonna be a radial 360. And so the fill amount right now is one, which equals its normal normalized value, which equals 100%. And then as I go down, you can see that that goes to zero. So that is a cool little effect that I can do there. And we'll just leave it as white for right now. And we can change the color later. And I don't like this blue. Yeah, something like that, that works. Don't need to spend too much time on the design because that's gonna waste time for me. This is the culmination of a three hour game jam that I did based off of SpaceX for myself. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.